guys just saw what was going on. You saw I have goldfish in my basement. I also have a dog. This is my dog over there. But um, today we might be going to the pet store and buying a new pet. I need your guys' help to decide. I don't know what I want to do. Like, I kind of want to get like a micro pet. I want to go just buy a micro tank and get like a micro fish and just have a sweet little micro fish in my basement. But, or in my bedroom for that per, per se or whatever you want to say. I want you guys to help me decide. We're literally jumping right into this. I'm currently going to the pet store right now. Ooh, popularity bell, you know, my friends. And I just broke my phone screen. Look at that. Oh, yeah. You guys see that crack in there? Yeah. Smooth, Jordan. Smooth. I don't want to be like the typical, you know, YouTube fisherman that goes and catches a bass at, at a pond or something and just puts it in a tank or, or puts it in a pond. And it's like, I want to do something completely different. So... A lot of you guys were saying like you should go get a tank and get a pet bowfin. Um, I'd have to look in to see like how legal that is to actually do or what the circumstance with this because that actually is a really sick idea. I might go do that because um, that would just be one crazy fish to have. So I might go get a tank and you know it's funny because I literally just spoiled it but I might get a bowfin for a pet. I don't know. Um, I don't really know what I want to do but we're going to go check out what they have. Where I'm going there's not too many options to pick for stuff so I don't know we're just gonna go check it out you know, just kind of have a little little day vlog today for you guys because I still can't fish and um, yeah so yeah, let's just go to the pet store so I, I, I'll just catch you guys when we get there so we're just all right we made it we're here we got the plug up over there you can't see it because it's blurry but it's pet supplies plus and uh I don't know. We're gonna break. We're gonna break that uh, barrier now. It's always so weird going in, into places talking to yourself on the camera. But you know what? That's just the name of the game. You gotta get over it. You wanna be a vlogger? You gotta not really care what people think. So, don't ever care. Don't let people judge you. There's my little life advice for you guys. And let's go see how much tanks cost and if there's a pet in there I could buy. I don't know. It's just we'll just, we'll just go to the store like right. Ah, right, we gotta go find these fish tanks. Nope. 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 Hey. Alrighty, so we're coming to the conclusion that you guys be the side. So should we get like a little tank like this? Like a tiny little, what is that? Two and a half gallon? Or should we just go buy something and get a bowfin and do something like this and do like a 55 gallon? I don't know. Let me know. Let me know below. Let me know what you guys think we should do with that. So we're going to look at some fish, but I got fish food. I mean, they're cheap. They're only like 10 bucks, 11 bucks. 15 bucks it's, it's really cheap and then you got to get like you know your filters and your aerator and stuff but it's, it's not that bad so or should i just ball out and get a 50 gallon in? i think i want to get a bowfin i don't know let me know let me know below all right immediate change of plan so i was going to show you guys some fish options and stuff in there but then this happened so i got i got a new goldfish to add to the goldfish collection as if i don't have enough goldfish um this one is a let me just get in the car first, hold on. In there and I was gonna show you guys like a bunch of different options. And there really wasn't too many, but I think you got the gist. And then I impulse bought this goldfish right here. I don't know how you say it, right, right, Rykun, Rykun mixed goldfish. I don't know, it looked fat and sweet. I'm gonna name him Chubber. Unless you guys think I should name him something else. If you like Chubber, let me know. If you think I should name him something else, let me know. Um, we're gonna put him in the tank. The reason I have so many goldfish is because I have a pond in my front yard, so in the summer they go in their nice little goldfish pond, but uh, right now they're just chilling in the tank in the basement because it's winter out. So um, yeah, we're going to take him back, we're going to get him settled in, hopefully he gets along with the other goldfish and hopefully it's okay to put that goldfish in. I'm going to research it real quick to make sure I can have him in the same tank as the other goldfish. I don't see what difference it would make, but um, I don't know, fish tanks are weird like that. So uh, we're going to add all the goldfish to the tank and then we're gonna talk more when we get home so we will see you guys in my basement and like yeah three I think like I don't know three seconds I don't know we're just we're gonna transfer the basement like right now okay so we're back in the basement right now I have the new goldfish that I just bought totally impulse bought um, I have them acclimating I think that's the word um, with the other one so I did do the research too by the way before you guys go nailing me about goldfish stuff um, I can have this goldfish in there with the common goldfish. It's totally fine. Um, I did the research. It says that these are Ryunkin. I don't know how you pronounce it, but they're considered like a fancy goldfish. And uh, the only kind of issue I might have is the common, the common goldfish may compete with them over food and stuff. But if I spread the flakes out, you know, well enough that it can eat, it shouldn't be a problem at all. So um, yeah, so here's like the fish tank I got right now, guys. Like it's 
nothing crazy and I know it's not the most like pretty and kept up thing it's honestly because I have a very nice pond in my front yard and I really only have these fish in this tank for give or take three four months um, just so they don't die in the winter so they literally they just hang out in my tank down here I mean they do great never had an issue I've had these fish for years like years years and years and uh, you know I've never had an issue with them you guys saw it I went to the store we looked at tanks they had small tanks for as low as 10 bucks and huge 55 gallons for as much as 300 but do you guys think I should go buy a bigger tank and go catch a cool species of fish uh, like a bowfin maybe wink wink nod nod um, and see if we could get that done or do you think I should get like a little two and a half gallon tank and go into my creek and try and catch some kind of super small micro species and have that or do you think I should do both so I don't know I, I, I'm down to do something so like I said just let me know below what you guys think whatever you want to say just smash it comment section blow it up down there whatever I want to see what you guys think so um, yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I think I'll have a little clip of this guy swimming away at the end here. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. Just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys because a lot of people were asking questions about me getting a fish or my fish tank and stuff like that. So let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Tentline TV. And we will catch you later. Peace.